Hey, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Fiddle Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. Yes, what's that? Yeah, Frank Lampard did school Jose Mourinho away in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium last night or yesterday, so if you're a Chelsea fan, you're probably doing well. Welcome to today's video on Football Therapy, where I'm going to be posing a question to you guys about, incidentally, a Tottenham player, Christian Eriksen, as well as talking about a positive loan move for a Chelsea player. And really, more just about the transfer window, which is days away now. But before we do get into the content today, a quick reminder for you guys to subscribe to the channel. Please do click subscribe, the bell notifications icon. Why not like this video? Before we do get into today's content, a few moments to talk about the racist incidents at the game yesterday. I watched what Gary Neville said in the sort of analysis punditry time after the game when he talked about society, culture, politics, and to be honest, he said a lot of good things and you could tell Sky Sports weren't very happy with him and they had to offer the disclaimer of his opinion are not the opinions of Sky Sports. This is not me calling out Tottenham fans, every club, and I mean every club in English football has this problem. It's of course abhorrent behaviour and needs to be kicked out of the game and it does look like hopefully things are starting to be done, but good on Tony Rudiger for being brave and sort of calling it out on the pitch and off it as well. Hopefully there's some solidarity there between all players around world football and things start to happen. Right, I want to talk about Christian Eriksen in a moment and pose to the question to you guys, the viewers, of how you feel about him coming to Chelsea. But first, let's talk about Chelsea promising young defender Mark Gurhey. Mark has made a couple of appearances in the first team, I believe. Certainly he came on against Grimsby. I was there, I watched him. I'm not entirely sure if he has made the, another appearance, but certainly he's in and around the first team training, playing under 23s games, that sort of thing. Very much in the thoughts of Frank Lampard, Jody Morris, Joe Edwards. Kind of like Ian Matson, that kind of level behind the first team. Apparently, both Norwich City and Southampton are interested in taking the youngster on loan in January. Both of them want to shore up their defences and they need some defensive solidity. And I think that's a huge um, positive for Gurhi to be called up by a Premier League team to shore their defence up, to offer them some stability. To be honest, when you're a Chelsea youngster at that age, a championship loan is awesome. It shows you're ready to play adult first team football at a relatively high level. But for a Premier League team to call you in, essentially out of Chelsea's academy, I mean, that is superb. It's been reported on a couple of publications um, so, and to be honest, I can believe it because he is such a talented young player, obviously very highly rated. A lot of people in English football, when they're in trouble, they do actually look to Chelsea's academy, knowing that they'll get a quality player and it's not going to like cost loads of money because, to be honest, they're probably looking at someone like Mark Gurhey thinking, right, we'll bring him in, see if he helps out in training, stick him in. We're not making a big financial investment on a player that's a risk, it's a temporary loan. We probably not obligated to play him really, so it kind of is a sort of safety net in many ways. So that would be superb, to be honest, any team, Southampton do play good football when they're supposed to be playing Hassan Hurtle's football, but you know, obviously things have gone really wrong this season. And him going to Norwich would be great as well, because they're an open, expansive brand of football that like to keep the ball kind of similar to Chelsea, just obviously not as good. So either would be good for the youngster. Right, we'll talk about a defender at the end of the video, so let's talk about Christian Eriksen. Eriksen has wanted out of Tottenham for a while now, and unlike players like Toby Alderweireld, the inclusion of Jose Mourinho into the team has not convinced him to re-sign and stay with Tottenham Hotspur. He wants out. Manchester United have been trying to get him for a while, but he's turned them down. Apparently, this coming January transfer window, Tottenham, Levy said this, that's obviously very, very eager to sell because he goes for free in the summer and he'll want some money for what is a top, top class player. And Man United have come in with a £20 million bid for the Danish man. But yet again, it does look like Christian Eriksen is about to reject Manchester United's approach for him. Now, in reality, I think Eriksen wants the move to Real Madrid. They haven't come in for him. I'm not sure they will come in for him in January, but I imagine they will accept him on a free He'll still be, he might still be 27, I imagine, maybe 28 by then, but a 27, 28 year old Christian Eriksen, still in your prime for free, most clubs in world football will take him. So that's probably what he wants. But Daniel Levy and Tottenham, desperate to see some form of return on this great player, 
have come out and said they'll sell him to Premier League rivals. So I guess that would include the likes of Chelsea. Personally, I don't think they would sell him to Arsenal. <laughs> just because it's the North London rivalry, but I have a feeling that Chelsea is just enough far removed that their desperation to see some form of return on him, you know, they'd sell him to Chelsea for maybe 10, 20 million, which would be nuts. Now, I have spoken about Chelsea potentially needing another number 10, and Chelsea have made a 44.4 million pound bid for Real Madrid's Isco. Certainly reports around Spain have been saying that. And I'm inclined to believe it due to previous links to the player last year. Personally, I'd love Isco at Chelsea as the number 10 to challenge Mason Mount. But it's interesting, isn't it? Because yesterday, Mason Mount had one of his best games for Chelsea and he played on the left wing. He's actually played very, very well on the left wing. But on the paper, Mason Mount is a cam. He's a number 10. He plays in the hole. Whether he should do going forward is another debate I guess. But Chelsea don't have another dedicated cam to play in a 4-2-3-1-10. Like I've said in previous videos, Barkley isn't really putting the pressure on and Ruben Loftus-Cheek should play further back and more on the left. Christian Eriksen would be excellent in the number 10 and obviously it's Premier League proven. Plug and play, 27 years old and good to go. And no matter how much Tottenham say they want for him to get a deal done, it will still be amazing value. Christian Eriksen is that really creative player that can break the lines in the final third and help break down a team in a 4-2-3-1 formation. I've said it many times before, this is the formation Frank Lampard prefers and wants to play because you can see his team scoring loads of goals in that shape. And really, he wants to do that. He wants to beat a team by beating them down and, you know, destroying all hope of winning the game due to conceding so many goals. Sure, he would have loved that really mature and professional performance against Tottenham, keeping it at 2-0 and keeping a clean sheet, but it's no secret Frank Lampard wants his team to score goals. Christian Eriksen will certainly help that cause playing as a dedicated number 10. Would he want to come to Chelsea though? That's the big question. If he likes living in London and wants to stay in London, that would be a positive. Come to Chelsea. Chelsea do look like they're going to secure, well, at the moment, Champions League football. And he might trust the project under Frank Lampard in terms of wanting to score goals. And as an attacking player, that could be quite an exciting prospect. But of course, this is only theoretical and a speculative sort of question that I'm asking. Should Chelsea go for Christian Eriksen, would he want to come? After big positive performances like last night against Tottenham, Chelsea have to evaluate their squad and go, oh, do we really need this? Do we really need that? But you can't be tricked, I guess, by just one performance. Chelsea do have very talented centre-backs. I've always maintained this. All three were very good in that three-back system that played against Tottenham. Obviously, there's a certain amount of cover when you've got an extra defender, but all three of those defenders are talented. Even Christensen is a talented player, if not a little bit lightweight. But obviously, the buyback clause of Nathan Ake expires at the end of the January transfer window, and they would be getting a left-footed defender, which they sorely need, for 40 million, which would be an excellent, excellent deal. Nathan Ake could also fill in at left back, as well as playing a left centre back, left centre back in a free, generally a very versatile player. So if that transfer happens, it can only be seen as a sensible purchase for Chelsea, but is it a priority purchase? I'm not sure. No matter which way you look at it, Marcus Alonso had a good game against Tottenham, but he still had frail moments, even in his preferred left wing back position. Chelsea will absolutely look to identify a replacement for a left back in Chelsea. Well, assuming Marcus Alonso goes, what's happening with Emerson, we're not sure, but Chelsea, they do need a starting conventional left back. Whether that will come in January or not, I don't know, but Chelsea could look to Europe to pick up other more elite left backs. There have, there have been a few names being uh, spoken of. But Frank Lampard will want Ben Chilwell. Sure, he didn't have the greatest game against Manchester City, but do you judge a man on one game or generally how he's been playing throughout a season? Only we know who Frank Lampard will have in his head and who he's contacting the club about. It's interesting because his interview before the London derby, he spoke to Gary Lineker, who asked him about Roman Abramovich, are you in contact with him? And interestingly, Frank Lampard isn't. I reckon he's probably only spoken to him once or twice since becoming Chelsea manager. But he has talked about how he's in contact with uh, Marina all the time, which is good. And he also has reaffirmed that Roman Abramovich is still very interested in Chelsea. So there'll be a constant line of communication with Marina about players that he wants, 
who he should go for and you know he'll know very well how much Chelsea have to spend this January. So keep it locked to Football Therapy, I'll of course keep you guys updated with all the news stories, links and my opinions on said stories as they come. Remember, click the link in the top of the description to go subscribe to Yam Plays, my other gaming slash sort of more casual YouTube channel. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Remember to sub if you're new. Please do like the video. Enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chalk. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me be